Displacement is the change in position given as position final minus position initial. Let's look at 6.2. Consider the motion of the athlete between position A and B. Is the athlete slowing down, speeding up, or moving at constant velocity? Give a reason for your answer. So let's go ahead and look at our diagram and see what is happening. We are only interested in the motion from A to B, from 0 to 6 meters. Is the athlete moving at a constant velocity, slowing down, or speeding up? Let's go ahead and find out. Let's look at the time from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 1.5. In that time interval, the athlete covers a distance of 3 meters. And then from 1.5 to 3 seconds, the athlete covers another distance of 3 meters. From 3 meters to 6 meters. So as we can see, in 1.5 seconds, the athlete is covering the same distance. That tells us that the athlete is moving at a constant velocity. Only when you are moving at a constant velocity can you cover the same distance for any X amount of time. If the athlete was speeding up, then the distance is covering per unit time would be increasing and increasing. And if he is slowing down, then it will be decreasing and decreasing. For instance, uh, let's look at from 3 seconds to 4.5. That is 1.5 seconds, but then now is covering 6 meters. So you can see that from t is equal to 3 to t is equal to 4.5 is speeding up. The same is true with t is equal to 4.5 to t is equal to 6. It continues speeding up. And then from t is equal to 6 to t is equal to 7.5, he's still speeding up. But then from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 3, he's moving at a constant velocity. He's covering the same distance per unit time. Let's look at 6.3. Calculate the displacement of the athlete in the last 3 seconds. The last 3 seconds is from 4.5 seconds to 7.5 seconds. 7.5 minus 4.5, that is just 3. So we want the displacement from t is equal to 4.5 to t is equal to 7.5. So we're going to say that uh, the displacement is given by the final position minus the initial position. Well, what is the final position? It is 33 meters. So we're going to have 33 minus the initial position at t is equal to 4.5 that is 12 meters so we have 33 minus 12 we shall give you 21 meters so we have 21 meters but we still have to do something we know that displacement is a vector and not a scalar so we need a direction it is 21 meters to the east it is 21 meters to the east. If you just write 21 meters, then you're losing a mark. You have to include the direction because displacement is a vector and not a scalar like distance. Right, uh, moving to 6.4. By means of a calculation, show that the magnitude of the athlete's velocity in the last 1.5 seconds is 8 meters per second. In the last 1.5 seconds. So let's go ahead and look at that. So last 1.5 seconds, that's from t is equal to 6 to t is equal to 7.5. Because 7.5 minus 6 is 1.5. And then what else do we have? We have the displacement, right? We start at x is equal to 21 meters and we are ending at x is equal to 33 meters. So let's go ahead and find the velocity. The velocity is given by the change in position divided by the change in time. We know that the change in position is position final minus position initial. Everything divided by time final minus time initial. So what is the position final? At t is equal to 7.5, that is 33 meters, minus position initial, uh, which is 21 meters. And we divide everything by t final, which is 7.5, minus 
minus t initial, which is 6. If you put that in your calculator, you're going to get 8 meters per second. And this is exactly what we are supposed to show. Well, the question is we must find the velocity. So let's go ahead and give a direction. It's 8 meters per second to the east. 